morning guys, this is Name Aslam, Chief Market Analyst at Evertrade. Uh, we're going to have a look at gold and we'll start with a bigger time frame. So it's going to be a four hour time frame that we'll look at. And from that perspective we will try to figure out where our support and resistances are. And within that we're going to try to take it try to take a trade in the direction of the trend because that is the most profitable and the fruitful trades are usually. Okay, so by just looking at it, number one is that we haven't changed any of these support and resistance lines and they are just coming as it is from our previous analysis. So you could clearly see that this support of 1280 to 1270 was uh, clearly violated by the price action and then we went below that. But now what we need to do is we need to adjust our support line. So we're going to make our, this is our next support uh, point and then but this support zone is still very much valid because the price hasn't been able to come into this area and has bounced back but remember we we had this uh, trend line which we were saying okay you know we are clearly watching this trend line and then a break of this trend line when we were right here is going to give us a prediction that okay the, the further weakness is come is coming for the price action but now that upward trend line is actually becoming more of a resistance line and then that's where exactly the price is finding its resistance right at this minute. So the previous upward trend line is becoming um, now it has become now a resistance line for the price action. However, an impo two important things for to point out now is that the red this red line is actually a 50 day uh, sorry 100 day moving average and then the yellow line is a 50 day moving average now the price is trading above 50 day and 100 day moving average which is a very important factor because this represents that the bulls are in control of the price action so that the bias is towards the upside but at the same time we have to adjust our resistance levels just the other way that we did our uh, support level and the immediate resistance for us is between 1320 to 1330 and that is the point that we are looking at yes there is a bit of a resistance right here which is in line with our uh, trend line uh, but there's nothing that is that of major importance and then the, the, the major resistance is still right at this point so let's quickly have a look in a smaller time frame and then see if there's any sort of a reversal pattern or a bullish pattern is forming near this trend line and if there is a which direction it is going to break or what kind of indication we are getting from that now by looking at it we have basically it, it looks like that we are forming head and shoulder pattern uh, so that's our shoulder that's our head and then we are kind of forming our uh, shoulder right at this point so now head and shoulder pattern right at this in in a level of a resistance is basically it's not a really good indication because if we do form a right shoulder and then we have a neckline and a break of that neckline is going to be a very bearish for the price action and then the bias is going to be towards the downside however it is not confirmed completely because this could very well be just a bit of a consolidation and the price could continue its move towards the upside so what could determine that is this is this immediate support of 1298 a break of a 1298 is basically going to confirm that okay look the bias is still towards the downside and we are moving lower within the time frame Okay guys, so I'm going to leave our analysis right here. If you do have any further questions, please feel free to comment and we'll come back to you on that. Thank you.